right here is my MSP430 reaction game board that I designed. Uh, I'll start by going over how to play and finish off by explaining what everything on the board does. So to begin, go ahead and turn the power switch on. The lights light up. This is a potentiometer that you could use to adjust the speed. Uh, more LEDs on means it'll go quicker on the flashes. Press this button on the left here to cycle the LEDs back and forth. And the button on the right stops them. So say you're aiming for this LED. You would try and stop it on it. Of course I missed. But then you could go ahead and press this left one again to restart it. Pick a slower speed. Again, you could press the start button on the left and try again for this LED. Missed again. But uh, that's the general gist of the game. For how I designed it, we have a 9 volt battery supplying the power, which goes in through the on off switch to a 3.3 volt regulator. Uh, these two capacitors are for that regulator. Uh, we have a MSP 430G2231, which is included in the launch pad kit from TI, so I just went with that. Uh, this middle header is to program the TI in circuit, or you could also use VCC and ground to power the circuit if you didn't want to deal with a 9 volt battery and regulator. Uh, two buttons, of course, and two pull up resistors right here. We have the potentiometer, which I have the wiper connected in between uh, 0 volts and 3.3 volts, and I'm reading that on the MSP uh, via a analog to digital converter. Uh, this resistor here would be a 47K to pull the reset line up to voltage. Uh, this is a 74HC595 uh, shift register which is connected to the pins on the MSB430 to output uh, onto 8 LEDs. Uh, each LED has a, in this case, 150 ohm resistor to limit current. Um, I just had these handy so that's why I used them but you could use other low value resistors. Um, as I said this uh, twisting it converts it into a digital value and whenever it's between set limits it will then push that value to the shift register which lights however many LEDs and uh, would read a button and then goes through a loop uh, flashing LEDs back and forth with a delay time uh, dependent on what you set the potentiometer to uh, adjusting it right now doesn't do anything as it's already set and then pressing the right button would go ahead and stop the LED um, overall it was pretty simple to make even though it was my first Eagle project and uh, I hope you like it. You could read more about this on my blog. Um, if you could read it, here's a link to the specific project page. I also have it in the description. Thanks for watching.